The shoulder joint is formed where the humerus, the upper arm bone, meets the scapula, the shoulder blade. The scapula forms a shallow cavity known as the glenoid where the head of the humerus rests. The shoulder joint allows for a great deal of motion, but this comes at the cost of stability. Sometimes an injury occurs that forces the humeral head out of the shoulder socket. This is known as a shoulder dislocation. Most shoulder dislocations are anterior dislocations, meaning that the humeral head comes forward as it leaves the glenoid. The labrum is a rim of cartilage that attaches around the edge of the glenoid. It contributes to the stability of the shoulder. Sometimes the humeral head tears part of the labrum away from the glenoid as it dislocates. This is known as a Bankart lesion. The Bankart lesion can result in chronic instability and often requires surgical repair. If a piece of bone is broken off from the glenoid, it is known as a bony Bankart lesion. Sometimes when the humeral head dislocates, the back of the head strikes against the front of the glenoid. This creates an indentation fracture. This is known as a hill sax lesion. A hill sax lesion can also make it easier for the shoulder to dislocate.